Hello everyone. So if you're watching this video, that means Threat Locker is going live in your environment very, very soon. And with that comes two things that you need to know how to address. But first, Threat Locker is an application whitelisting tool. It's important to know why you have it. And that's really simple, to protect you from ransomware attacks, to stop malicious files from running in your environment. Now, the two things that you're gonna run into is gonna be when you try and install something new and when something is asking for admin access. So let's get into it. If I try and run TeamViewer here, I get this. And I can request access from here, but the first thing you need to be doing is thinking, did I try and launch this? Is this something that I need? Is this stopping me from doing my work? Because if it isn't, then you don't need it. But if you're trying to install it for a very particular reason, then proceed. Request access and you have that option right here to tell them what it is, why you need it. Because by doing that, it's gonna help them make their decision a lot faster. So I encourage them. I also encourage putting in your email down here because you're going to be able to know once they've approved that request a lot faster because it's going to send you an alert. Now, by sending that out, they're then going to get that as an SMS, an email. They're going to get a ticket for it. So they're going to know that you've requested for this. They're going to see your notes and they're going to approve that file. The other thing you're going to see is admin access being needed. If I try and run this here as an admin, as a local user, what I get is a threat locker pop-up. I will also get a UAC prompt. So if you have an admin password, you can put those credentials in. But for those who don't, you're going to use this threat locker pop-up. Now you can see it says request elevation. So you know that this one isn't us blocking. This one is us saying that, oh, you don't have admin credentials. Do you want to ask for this? And then it's going to be the same process. Put in your notes. What is it that you're trying to do here? Do you need to do this and why? And then put in your email. If you've already done it once, you will never have to do it again. It's going to cache every single time. But send that request out. Keep an eye out for that email. It's going to tell you what was approved and who it was approved by. And once you know that that's been approved, you can do what it is that you were trying to do. Ultimately, this tool is here to protect you guys because your security is our priority.